Hello my soccer universe. Well, things have been festering for quite a while. Uh, with things that are not going right in the Jersey world. Uh, but I reached a boiling point <laughs> on Friday when I heard that the Classico will be played in these colors. Yeah, not quite. Barcelona will play in yellow, but I don't have a yellow uh, Barcelona jersey. But you know, yellow with red gives orange. So that just... Oh, the commercialization, hard word, that is happening, especially for uh, the Super League clubs, uh, is just going beyond. Beyond anything that is, uh, that I, I'm willing to uh, accept or be silent about. Uh, and you see here, I mean, for me, the Classico, I pull it up there. Yeah, here is uh, two away jersey matchups, which I have been um, just for fun toying about. But I always said, if this is ever gone, 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 gonna happen, you're losing the branding. Because what one thing of the many things that makes El Classico great, and let's say it right, right up front, this uh, Sunday's Classico, is by far the from a sporting world the least important in decades because there is nothing at stake here except for bragging rights barcelona maybe need to win a little bit more for a top four spot madrid have such a comfortable lead that they can just play it out nicely so what a perfect spot to for hopefully a forgettable classico and the worst thing that can happen is that this will be a classical for the ages is yeah, let's celebrate Real Madrid with a 120th anniversary and we get Yamamoto in to design another special kit for us, which of course is not white, but is again black. <sighs> and we have to wear this in a home game. Uh, and then to top it all off, to top it all, I mean, Yamamoto, the dragon kit, that was spectacular. Um, I have never regretted not picking it up. I had two or three chances uh, back in the day, and uh, but I never regretted picking it up because I have this black Real Madrid shirt, and I always thought that this is the nicer looking shirt. Uh, it is just more classy. It's the 100th anniversary shirt, so I was totally fine. That one was special, but this was part of a regular collection. This new one will be just worn in the Classico, then probably forgotten about, it is not even something special. I mean, uh, there are some zigzaggy lines on there, and then there's a, a, a rather odd hand-painted font, which I'm not sure if La Liga will even let them wear that, because La Liga have their own font. But, you know, I guess for Real Madrid, they will again make a reverence there. But the jersey to me is nothing special. It actually looks cheap with the Y3 logo on there and not an Adidas logo. It looks kind of a little bit fake. I've read these comments and I actually do agree with that. And then, you know, I mean, the Emirates fly better sponsor, don't make it better. Absolutely. friggin uh, So the jersey to me doesn't look even special and it sells. And this is the, this to me is the absolute killer for that one. Okay, bring out a special jersey, make it. You're selling for 180 euros, 180 euros for this piece of S. I'm sorry. This is just taking it. I mean, this is taking Napoli. And I'm going to get to Napoli. I'm wearing Napoli for a reason. This is just taking what Napoli is doing to another level. It is absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, it started more or less with these guys when Juventus had the Palace uh, uh, kit, which actually at that season was the most Juventus looking thing that was there. Uh, but yeah, okay, it was worn in one match and it sold for uh, low, low, lots of money. I don't know, I think it's largely forgotten about in many ways. So, um, <clears throat> it just drives me nuts. And it drives me nuts. I mean, I'm okay if this is worn in, uh, you know, even played in a Madrid Derby. Because the Madrid Derby, anyway, uh, there's usually a color clash. There, I maybe can even get potential, but not in the most marquee match. One that is so much white against Blaugrana one of the most iconic color combinations out there that is it as el classico meanwhile is its own brand even so i mean uh you don't mess with this brand now you have black against yellow rather uninteresting to watch so uh yeah 
I probably will have El Clasico at least on the second screen, but it screams to me that I should watch the Cotto Zio Derby on that one, because I, I, I'm so bugged by this. But this is not the only thing. I already mentioned Napoli. Um, yesterday, I decided, okay, let's watch Napoli. And what do I see? A 13th kit of the season. And a 13th that sells, at I think, for at least a 120. Because all the Napoli kits. And I've been saying jokingly in my, in my review, uh, maybe this is the time, because I always had the idea, I want to have an Armani suit, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is maybe the one uh, time I will get an Armani uh, <laughs> shirt. 13 kits. 13. And I think the only one that looks okay is the recently released third kit, the flame kit. But then they made a European version out of that. That looks that it was worn in a destruction against Barcelona. Uh, this is a nice connection. That, uh, yeah. Ridiculous. I mean, especially in a city like Naples, selling a shirt for 120. I mean, it is. I mean, I'm on, I don't want to say it's a ghetto city or whatever because I, I, I don't want to subscribe, subscribe to stereotypes. But we know already that the south of Italy is not as rich, and especially uh, in, in Napoli, the supporters, they live for their team. To fleece them with jerseys that actually most of the time look rather cheap. In many ways, it's a Kappa jersey uh, that has EA7 on it. I find this absolutely ridiculous, and it's all mm, finance, finance, finance me. Um, and unfortunately, why we're wearing this shirt? Because it started with this jersey, more, more or less. They saw, ah, Maradona sells. Now we have four Maradona jerseys, none of which look actually really good. Because the whole image up there, it doesn't look any, it looks weird. I said the white one is the one that I personally think looks best. Because there it actually blends in a little bit more. But nah, it, ah. This has to stop. This is just absolutely ridiculous. And then um, going further, we have for, for, for next season, the Adidas teams, all the the good the top teams, get a so-called Lux pack. I mean, uh, this blend of fashion and soccer just drives me nuts. The Lux pack is, okay, we take the Louis Vuitton pattern and plaster it and replace it with Juventus and Turin, uh, and Turin logos. And we probably will sell this all for at least 400 euros or whatever. It just drives me nuts. I always have said, I mean, this multitude of jerseys and, you know, these special collaborations. We don't need that crap. You, you are actually watering down the brand of your own team. I always have said what uh, the American teams are doing. And I think the NBA is going a little bit crazy. They are there as well, but I'm looking at NHL and NFL, which uh, coincidentally are the, are the leagues I follow the closest in America. Um, you have a home look, you have an away look, and you get one special jersey that you can wear on occasions. Plus, maybe you are in a special event where you can also put another jersey out. That is probably either heritage or something more forward-looking. That's it. And on top of that, you have to wear the wearer that look for at least um, a certain amount of time. What we're getting here, I just... Napoli, bad. Changing El Clasico to these colors, bad. I mean, I actually, I, I, I remember, I think it was uh, with them from Club Football Shirts where I mentioned that... Um, Maybe last year's Clasico should, should have played with Barcelona in their pink kit against uh, Real Madrid with the black with pink kit. Um, and, you know, if you play this on, let's say, a day where you commemorate uh, breast cancer or whatever, that actually would make a little bit of sense. And, yeah, I would not like it, but at least there would be a theme behind it. Here it is, 120th anniversary, we pulled out a special jersey that costs twice as much as a normal shirt that doesn't even look like anything special and in addition Barcelona is coming to the um, Bernabeu wearing a Catalan independence kit I mean give me a break but it's it's a general I mean uh, the general thing that there are certain teams I mean Real Madrid greatest team in football uh, yes okay greatest game 
uh, you can maybe get away with something like that. Juventus has been trying their A off, uh, especially since Ronaldo, with one bad jersey design after the other. It's not a coincidence that uh, Ronaldo leaves and Juventus have finally a Juventus-looking jersey again, albeit one that is uh, plastered with the spon uh, is destroyed by a sponsor. But as I said, they get the looks pack and they will uh, milk that one too. But um, we have two other teams uh, <laughs> back there that are rather egregious, that are just all about marketing and money. The one down here, Venezia, I actually can understand a little bit more because Venezia is a small team. You need to stand out a little bit. You are in one of the uh, most well-known cities of the world. There are lots of tourists coming in. Okay, take out all the stops. Although I think what Nike did here, that was great. This is a classy looking shirt. What Kappa did this season is taking it every step of the way too far for me. But I do understand it. I do understand it somehow. It's a small team. I can live with that. However, what then these big boys are doing from PSG, that just goes beyond. I mean, watering down the brand. Uh, I think it, it reached a peak. I mean, I actually don't mind the Jordan uh a collaboration because it is exclusive and i actually think replacing the eiffel tower with the jordan logo as uh, making a special logo that's actually there's something uh even re remotely cool about it so i do understand that however where it hit for me is when in the champions league we suddenly played in black and white jerseys uh in the campaign where they were ousted by manchester united of all teams that already didn't sit well. Uh, the multitude of not good looking jerseys coming out of PSG's camp is just staggering. Uh, the way they have watered down the PSG home jersey by uh, removing most of the red most of the time, except you celebrate your 50th anniversary, is also one uh, way that I actually cannot stop subscribe to but then in, in addition you're wearing a third jersey so often at home that you don't even know what's your home colors and in uh and anymore but then i know psg is about to become uh, is set the goal to make the most fashionable uh club in the world and part of the strategy and this is just that the, the other thing this was the first thing that i thought this is i said this is almost worth a video in in, in, in its own but i just mentioned psg opened a store on fifth avenue in new york where they're selling among other items baseball bats okay are we having other psg yankees and then security vests bright orange with the psg logo on there and ny give me a break i mean i clearly i don't understand fashion i wear soccer jerseys i don't understand fashion but that is a step too far this is just, what is this? What is this? I mean, no wonder you're a mess as a team when you're all about marketing. I mean, we already know the superstars are always in to brand the team and market it, blah, 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 to the non-soccer fan. But as a soccer fan, all these trends are rather offending. And as a collector, selling uh, these things off for incredible prices. I mean, I'm not going to go for any of these. But this is just at least one, two, if not three steps too far. Issuing jerseys in limited runs. Okay, I can actually even live with the Carnival jerseys or the Oktoberfest jerseys. And, and so, you know, for one occasion, that's your special jersey. Maybe in that sense, I can even with Real Madrid. But for me, what I don't like about Real Madrid is this jersey is nothing special. It sells for 180 and it looks like a fake jersey. And on, in addition, the great, the, uh, what I consider the greatest uh, game in the sport uh, is losing its visual identity. What Napoli is doing, 13 kids, absolutely crazy. What Venezia is doing, um, four kids. Okay, it's just about it's just about acceptable, but all of none of them are actually really uh exposing the club's colors well maybe the away jersey but that one is an old uh, what psg is doing by just about it all being about marketing and then you uh dilute the fans by buying the stars but not building a team i just hate it i mean i've always want to say 
if you look at Bayern and Manchester City, two teams that I have no love for, at least they're building teams. At least they're building teams and they're not going crazy on that front. So yeah, uh, I would like to hear your thoughts on that. Rant over. <laughs> um, I really want to hear what you think about it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Jersey related videos. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.